All right, Aquarius, we're going to jump into your twin flame reading. So I'm definitely picking up, we're actually going to focus on you for the moment. I feel like you've been learning a lot of lessons, especially here recently. I don't know if there's a lot of things going on that you don't know about, if you feel like you're in the dark at the moment, but I do definitely get that they're, they're nudging you to try things differently. You're getting a sense of passion and spark, maybe approaching love differently, approaching your life differently, but there's something here, Aquarius, where you're doing things differently. And I feel like you've been learning a lot. And not only are you learning those lessons, but you're taking that knowledge forward with you. You know, you're not going to keep going through the same cycles or repeating things the same way that you always have. So let's see what's going on. I'm also getting that you could be feeling, okay, your intuition is guiding you. Follow and trust your intuition. But I'm also getting that you could be... um getting nudged to do something, whether it's a conversation, maybe somebody you're wanting to approach. There's something here. Okay, so let's see what's going on with you and your twin flame, Aquarius. What's going on for Aquarius and their twin flame? What do we have? Some of you could have children with your twin flame. Passion, interesting, that come out again, trying something that you've never done before. And I feel like this could just be approaching life differently. Twin flame energy, trust so this connection is calling for you to have faith for you to trust where you're at where you're going patience some of you have been dealing with a twin flame um Okay, so this is what I'm getting for some of you. Some of you have been dealing with a twin flame where there is a lot of passion. I feel like it's not over yet, but they're, they're wanting you to have faith in what you're feeling, what you know to be true and where you're going. Now, some of you have children with your twin flame. You might not. Now, let's say you don't. For some of you, you don't have children with your twin flame. You have children with someone else or a child with someone else, but your twin flame is also in the mix. For some of you who have a ch who has a child or children with someone else, you could be feeling like you want to get back with them. That's only going to be necessary if they're not your twin flame. You could be feeling like you're wanting to get back with them. That person could really be in a place where they're focusing on their self, taking care of their self. But they're asking you, are you choosing what's fast and easy or are you choosing what's right for you? So if that is your story, be careful of wanting to get back with someone just because um, it's easy just because it's comfortable. What, just because we're comfortable with someone or we're used to them doesn't mean that they're right for us. Okay, Aquarius? So I, I feel like I need to tell you that. Okay? So let's go into the twin flame reading. So a lot of you could definitely be having something unfold with your twin flame here in the coming, in the coming months, coming future. Trusting that there's a reason for the season and that it's unfolding in divine timing. Maybe you've lost hope in this, in this person, in this connection. There's something here where you've lost hope. Okay, how is this twin flame viewing Aquarius? The moon. What I just heard is you're very secretive, okay? So there could be something here where you've moved away from this person. Maybe you're getting recognition. You're being victorious. This person could also be at a point where they don't know where you're at. They don't know what you're doing. They don't know what you have going on. I feel like both of you feel that this is done. But I don't feel like it is. I do feel like an energy here of moving away from one another to get out of rough waters into calmer waters. You know, maybe when you were with your twin flame Aquarius, there was chaos. Maybe there was this intense push and pull kind of connection where you both wanted to recognize one another, but it also felt like it was cutting off your own hand just to try to benefit. And I mean, are we willing to cut off our, our own hand to try to get someone to love us when we don't know the outcome? I think not. That's kind of the energy I'm getting here. I feel like this person views you as someone who's victorious or successful, someone who's moved away from them, someone that they're recognizing in some sense, form, or fashion. But there could be something here where they feel like they don't know what's going on, that there's, that there's things um, in the dark. This person could be unsure about who you're giving to. Maybe you've dated someone since this person. 
for some of you. And they're confused if you're investing with someone else. Hmm. How do they feel towards you? So they do feel a very... Um, Interesting. I'm I'm feeling a, a strong pull, and I just heard someone say, you told me you were going to give me the world. So, there could also be something about the way that you look or the way that you're approaching life right now where this person wished that they could do that as well. You know, this lover's card is choosing a connection or a person or choosing love. They could feel like they want to come to you. But there's also something here with the lovers that it can sometimes be a very sac a sexual, a very sexual connection, a very sexual pull to one another. This person can also be feeling like they want to let go of the past in some sense, form or fashion. Changing their perspective on how things may be unfolded. Feeling like they were very unbalanced. Again, I keep getting an empress. So, for some of you, you definitely have other people involved. It could be somebody, again, whether this is a mother figure, an aunt, a sister, someone who's older than you. Someone that you feel like is more mature, more stable. Um, this could be, again, somebody that you have children with because it is the empress. This person, whoever this is that you were dealing with, did feel a little unbalanced. They could be changing their perspective when it comes to something that's un unfolded. Um, it's interesting because there's a lot of people involved here. And there's an energy here of someone investing with you in Aquarius, but not necessarily being completely honest. And for some reason, I feel like it was your twin flame. Whoever the person is that you took them, their opinion, their thoughts, um, something into consideration, it was because you admired this person. It's because you understood that that person was very grounded, very mature. But whoever this is, this twin flame that you've been dealing with, this person's been wanting to communicate but it has something to do with fear of investing. Whoever this person is could also feel like you don't ever choose them. So Aquarius, I'm, I'm not sure the energy I'm getting, but I feel like this person is the kind of person who's like, well, you never choose me. And it's not about being chosen. It's about having to be an adult and understand that everyone has an opinion. But we always get to make a choice from our own perspective and what we're needing. Um, I feel like this person is starting to see that something here about them being unbalanced. Maybe they didn't want to have a conversation. Maybe they didn't want to approach the table the way that they needed to. Maybe this person didn't want to be mature. As I said that, I stopped at the page of wands. I do feel like this person could have been very immature that you were dealing with. So maybe at one point this person felt like you were choosing other people, other places, other things over them. But I feel like now this person could be recognizing that it wasn't like that all along. It was that sometimes we have to make choices we don't want to make to benefit the whole group. Maybe to benefit the family unit. Maybe there's children again to be involved. Maybe there's something here where you had to give a message of truth. And maybe it wasn't a message that this person wanted to hear. This person's trying to find information on you, Aquarius. They're wanting to come in. But there is a very in and out energy with whoever this twin flame is. Again, things not being completely done. Still things unfolding in timing. Needing to trust. But I'm also getting trust yourself. Trust yourself. Because I feel like you grew up a lot. Especially here in the past. I'm hearing six. Six months. Six years. I don't know. Six. Okay. Okay. So, how does this person view this connection? Okay, so there's a lot of confusion here. Maybe even a lot of options as well. Maybe you guys, there's always been something here where either you've let people get in the way or they've let people get in the way. Wow. This person could actually want to communicate out of nowhere that they've been burdened. Again, divine timing here. This person could view this connection as a different cycle. So here's the thing. Maybe this person that you've been dealing with, Aquarius, this twin flame, has always been attracted to certain people. 
certain situations. And I feel like this person wanted to scratch you up to be one of those and you're not. I feel like this person is getting to a point where they're wanting to accept responsibility for the way that maybe they acted towards you based off of some feelings that they couldn't handle or feelings that they couldn't um, accept. Seeing you as someone that makes them very happy, makes them fulfilled in some sense, form, or fashion. They're also seeing this as, yeah, there could have been a lot of confusion. And again, there could have even been other options that were in the way. But I feel like I was happy with you. Okay. This person could have viewed this connection as something where, you know, it's interesting because the magician in the reverse is like a trickster juggling this person could have felt like this connection was something that you know i'm getting an energy of don't trick me into wanting to stay with you don't treat me th this way and then change who you are and i don't feel like that's who you are but that's what this person was scared this person was scared of getting too involved too in deep and then you knew we're going to change you were going to change into somebody that they didn't recognize they didn't know again the magician is a trickster Someone who will pull the wool over your eyes and act like one thing, but be something completely different. Um, that could also be the confusion. And that could be the reason that there could have been other people involved if it was on their side. Or them wanting to keep confusion in it. Because they didn't, maybe they weren't at a place where they were willing to let a cycle end. Either. They didn't want to open up to emotional fulfillment yet. They could have been tricking their self as well. Yeah, the fool coming out sideways. Not wanting to take a leap. Not wanting to take a risk, feeling like maybe they were going to be an idiot if they did, needing to bring some sort of change and transformation over their past. So what did this person, this twin flame, learn with being with Aquarius? Interesting, the devil in the reverse. So there could have definitely been some sort of karmic tie, toxic tie. There could have been something here that needed to be let go of. There could have been some sort of family foundation that had to crumble. There could have also been a sense of sadness and disappointment that had to be um, gotten over. Someone here had to quit paying attention to the things that wasn't working out. Someone here had to quit saying, oh, well, poor, poor, pitiful me. This isn't working. Someone had to quit doing that. Someone had to decide, okay, I want to fight for this. I want to fight for my happiness. I have to let go of interferences or people that are in the way or ways of thinking or being or anything that's just jeopardizing a connection that I feel makes me very happy and fulfilled. I have to let that go. So someone here had to let that go. Yeah, there's been a lot of clarity. There's been a lot of recognition of maybe someone not wanting to let go of some sort of cycle. Someone being very discontent. Maybe even having a tendency of getting bored in a, in a connection. But changing their perspective. So what's the future outcome here? What's going to be the next action taken? The lovers in the reverse. Someone not making a choice. Someone here right now in, in this moment is a little unhopeful. Someone's wanting to come in quickly, cut through the confusion. Why aren't they? Someone right now is looking towards the future, planning towards the future. Someone could be feeling very discontent, wanting to move forward towards a new beginning. Someone could also be reevaluating the cycles that are actually closing out, realizing that they need to make a decision and the decision needs to be a new beginning. Someone here could definitely be seeing that they need to open their emotions. Someone here could have a hard time expressing their emotions, but still wanting to give love, give that emotion to you. <laughs> For some of you, this person wanted to make sure that they could grow something on their own before moving forward with you, which I find interesting. I'm learning some valuable lessons before we can reconnect. So, so again, someone's learning a sense of lessons. A lesson to let whatever this devil energy go. You know, that could be a karmic tie where we've not completely learned everything we need to learn with that person, so we're not willing to let it go. That could be a way of thinking, being a person, a place, a thing. That can be anything. Somebody's definitely unbalanced. Very unbalanced. I'm getting a little bit of controlling. Somebody could have also wanted to indulge in the part of their life where it was um, going out. Putting themselves in the scene. Not wanting to commit. Wanting to have like one night stands. That's the Nine of Cups energy. Someone here was very wounded. 
someone here has been very shady as well and has been doing a lot of self-reflection on that. Wanting to step up. Seeing that in the midst of them protecting what they have or who they felt that they are, they could have lost who they are in that process. That's very interesting. Okay, let's get a few of what this person's thinking and then let's wrap this up. What do we have for Aquarius? I don't know what you want. Interesting. I don't know what you want. You inspire me. So making this person see things differently. Making this person understand things. I'm not financially stable. So whoever this is is definitely not financially stable. This person's definitely also been in an energy of imbalance. Each time this person's come out that you've been dealing with, they're either sideways or they're completely upside down. Except when it comes to the King of Cups. When it comes to having emotion but not being able to necessarily express it. I'm going to be honest with you. It makes me a little uncomfortable. I feel like this person could have definitely hurt your feelings, broke your heart. But this person's realizing that it's really hard for them to let you go. Wanting to hear your voice. Wanting to be around you. Feeling like they've lost their self. Again, I miss hearing your voice. Let's get some of what. Give me a little bit of Aquarius in this twin flame. What does Aquarius need to know about this twin flame? I feel empty and hollow inside. I can't open up right now. This person could have definitely gotten an energy where they depended on you. Emotionally, there, there could be codependent issues with this person. Um, but I do feel like there has been an energy where you guys have been focusing on your own life, especially here recently. Again, you guys could have been dating other people, um, entertaining other people. This person's missing you. But there could be something here where this person become too much for you to handle, too much for you to deal with. I can't be vulnerable with you. I'd rather hide in my dark darkness than let you see inside. My focus is on my life. I cannot be bothered to work. See, and it's interesting. Do we keep seeing that? It's I feel empty. I feel hollow. I don't want to be vulnerable. I want to keep the darkness inside of me. I don't want to let you in. My focus is on me. I don't want to be bothered. But there's also something here where this person is like, I don't know if I can be who you want me or need me to be. Because there's a lot of unbalanced energy here. Seeing things differently, but just because we see things differently doesn't mean we can show up who we need to show up as. Um, again, there is a sense of codependency here. And I feel like this person depends on you, wants you, needs you more than maybe you need them. I feel like you yearn for this person, miss this person. Maybe you guys are a lot alike. Yeah. You guys separating hurt this person. This person's wanting to come in and tell you so much about what's been going on. Something to do with the struggle that they've been going with. Something that they've changed their perspective on. Wanting to choose you. Maybe recognizing they were careless here. But there's also something here where this person could have vouched it up as you picking someone over them. So it gave them an excuse to act a certain way. And now they're seeing that differently. Hmm. Okay, Aquarius. We're actually going to leave that here. Have a blessed day.